and I'm back again. So, let me try and zoom out on these females. The one that's right there, I think she's paired up with the male. They're like sneaking up on her in the corner. Because they definitely do not want her near their breeding site when they breed. The natural thing, so you know. Uh, one of them loves the sponge so you can see that little black stripe that's one of the females. Uh, I think that's the egg is easy. There's a quarry down there eating on it. Quarries do not get baby tears or like gloss or whatever it's called or mm, like the foreground plants uh, that aren't hardy. Like uh, Thorpe Sag will be okay with them. But don't get anything like baby tears. Because then they're going to uproot it if they're not established. Though they're great fish anyway. I haven't had them breed. Dustin's have them breed. Ross Boys had them breed. I haven't had them breed. And I don't know why. I've fed them lots of life stuff. Some frozen stuff. I don't know. Speaking of frozen stuff. After this video. Tomorrow or tonight I'm gonna get started on the back to the basics videos. I know Ted Judy is already doing back to the or basic stuff, but I just wanna even experienced people have to watch this. Back to the basics. It's nice to know other people do things differently and all the beginners who've seen this or seen this know that uh, know what to do. And this is an actually nice pretty this is a pretty good angle. I took a picture of my uh, intro from a camera. Let me try and zoom in on a female. female. I feel the same Oh, I'll zoom in on lemon tetras. Lemon tetras. Don't remember the scientific name. Uh, I might post it or not. Uh, so begin definitely a beginner. Almost all tetras are beginners. They're very forgiving. Uh... They like uh, regular tropical fish water, 75 degrees to 80 degrees. If you want to breed them, make it slowly go up, and uh, they should breed in the morning if you put a pair in. Females are a lot, uh, a lot uh, stockier, maybe because you know the eggs and stuff. Uh, it's not really that much that gender difference because they're tetras. Most tetras don't have that big of a gender. Uh, gender difference. Mm, so that's pretty much it. pH, low pH for tetras. All tetras love t pH below 7.0. Uh, including the neon tetra, true classic. Uh, same, pretty much same care as the lemon tetras. Uh, they get smaller, so make sure you don't keep them with anything bigger than an angelfish. Angelfish might actually eat them if they get big enough. But nothing bigger than a medium-sized angelfish, because then they'll get eaten. Like, don't put them with uh, don't put them with fire mouths that you know are gonna get too big. Like, I put them with my grandma's fire mouths. They got eaten or died and got eaten. I don't know. I don't really care. I'll just tell her to get some angels or something. Um. Uh, uh. What else? What else? What else? What else? Tetras. Breeding is simple, but kind of annoying because they're going to eat their eggs. Kind of weird, right? Uh, pretty much it. Later tomorrow, I will start. Later tonight or tomorrow, I will start the Back to the Basics. See you then.